My Jeep is a 2012 uh, JK, and uh, like everyone else, it has the uh, 3.6 Pentastar engine. Now, because I did buy it used, I had no idea what the previous owner had done maintenance-wise. And uh, last winter, I noticed that um, I was dripping oil and antifreeze on the ground. And that's when I determined that my oil cooler was leaking. And here's the telltale signs of that leaking oil cooler. You're going to leak oil and antifreeze all over your driveway. So instead of this being an install video, this is going to be a video to show you exactly what I paid out of pocket in order to have uh, the oil cooler, the spark plugs, and the coil packs replaced. The problem with these 3.6 Pentastar engines is that when Chrysler built them, they used oil coolers that consisted mainly of plastic components. And uh, through the uh, heating and cooling cycles, the uh, plastic becomes brittle or distorted, and uh, the oil cooler will either crack or the seals will start leaking. In order to replace the uh, leaking oil cooler, what you're going to have to do is remove all of this. It's easy to get to the, um, the spark plugs and the ignition coils over here on the passenger side, but to do the driver's side, again, all of this has to be removed. So you're going to save yourself a ton of labor by having not only this oil cooler replaced, but also the ignition coils as well as the uh, spark plugs. Okay, so this is what I'm having installed today on my 2012 Jeep JK. Um, I have Mishimoto ignition coils. I have a Mishimoto oil cooler. And I have Champion Iridium spark plugs. Now with Mishimoto, I received free shipping on both. There was no sales tax. Both have a lifetime warranty. The ignition coils, they meet or exceed uh, Jeep performance specs. And they also feature a uh, pre-lubricated boot that's pre-lubricated with dielectric grease. For the engine cooler, as you can see, it's got an all-aluminum housing. You have upgraded manifold gaskets. A new set of mounting bolts. Not to mention that the unit also includes the uh, sensors. And if I can get this out, new oil seals. Now with some of the aftermarket oil coolers, you're going to find that they uh, provide an orange oil cap. And that is to notify anybody who's doing an oil change that this takes a different oil filter in place of the uh, the stock round one that you normally would find inside of the housing. Now as a disclaimer, I am not affiliated with uh, Mishimoto or Champion or Napa, which is where I got the spark plugs. Um, these are just the parts that I happen to pick up personal preference. Uh, you may end up with another aftermarket brand for the oil cooler, maybe such as Dorman. Um, and the prices are going to go from lower than this to more expensive than this, depending on what you get and where you get it. Some uh, aftermarket manufacturers may only include uh, the bottom portion here and then the uh, top oil cooler itself. You may have to switch over from your old one onto the new base. Obviously, it's totally up to you um, what brand you put into your vehicle or how much you want to pay for your parts. 
this is just what I have chosen to do um, because I do live in the Adirondacks of upstate New York right now where I believe in the 20s and it may warm up into the 30s today. So I'm not doing this work uh, myself because I have no garage. So I am taking this to um, a dealership to have these uh, installed and I will let you know what the price is on that and then give you a total for having all of this done. Now, one thing I want to point out is right now my oil cooler is leaking some oil and antifreeze. Not a lot, but it did start last year and I was finding it difficult to find a uh, mechanic to do the replacement on this. And um, the problem is, is I bought my Jeep used. I have no idea if the ignition coils are original or if the spark plugs were ever changed. Now, if you ever decided to do those after this is installed, the same procedure has to be done. You still have to remove all the components that sit above this. So you're going to pay for labor all over again. That's why I'm having all this done at once. It's kind of like one of those, well, while you're there, you might as well do it. Okay, here's the breakdown as promised. The ignition coils were $132.95. The oil cooler itself was $244.95. The uh, Champion Iridium spark plugs were $67.35. And uh, I received a discount on labor um, as a friend of the technician. And the labor charged by the dealership with me supplying my own parts, that came to a total of $399.60. And the grand total to have all of this done was $844.85. The uh, dealership service advisor asked me if I wanted any of my old parts back. And um, I said that I would take the ignition coils. Uh, the technician said that they were still good. Nothing wrong with those. I asked about the condition of the oil cooler and he said it was spewing oil all over the place. Um, then I asked him about the spark plugs, and uh, he told me that two of the electrodes were pretty much burnt right off. So, as you can see, it was a good idea to have all of this, even though it was a little pricey, it was a good idea to have all this replaced um, at one time. I saved a ton of labor from having to have a mechanic go back in, tear all that apart again just to replace those parts. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Even better yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.